Hey guys, I'm with uh, Kerwin here with IMT Analytics, and he's seen the video I just released last week on the uh, Citrix H5, and you can see I've got a bunch of them set up at the booth, and he actually wants to go over some of the applications that I mentioned in my video. Yeah, so every H5 comes with every app that's available. Okay. If your H5 doesn't have them all, if you look, you can... Uh, I don't usually see that they're all there. Okay. Now, as you pointed out in your video, if you set your profile to only have a few of them, they'll only show up. Okay. So that's just because that's what you have your profile set at. All right. But each time that we release one of these, all you have to do is update the software for your device, and you can do that over Wi-Fi or download it directly from our website, okay. and you'll get the latest app. So we don't need to ship it back to the OEM to get the software updated. We can do it right from our place. Absolutely. It will, you can actually set it to automatically go out and search for updates. Okay. You can do it daily, weekly, or monthly, or not at all. So, and that's all under the settings. But anytime that there's a new release of software, anytime we add a new app, it's free for anybody that owns an H5. All they have to do is update their current software. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I had no clue because I always seen a couple of Monair and I figured you had to go to the App Store and download your particular event or whatever. No, it's, it's unlike your cell phone where you have to pick which apps you want. Yeah. We make them all available. Okay. Because they are event layer specific and they follow the manufacturer's uh, service manual. Yeah. We want to make sure that they're always up to date and they're always accurate. Okay. And the way you do it, uh, make sure your device is up to date, is just do the software update. And again, you can do that, download it uh, over USB, or you can download it via the Wi Fi. Wow. So, yeah, so the device I had, because it was a demo, they just set up different profiles, and that's just what I was used to seeing. Yep. Is, uh, wow. And also on this screen, you'll see that all your reports are here. So anytime that you've created a report using one of the apps, it separates it by the ventilator type. Okay. And then you can see that there are reports there. You can view them on the device if you want to. You can zoom in on them. And then if you want, you can export those over Wi-Fi to your Dropbox. Wow. Or you can export them over USB. You guys, I, 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 you can't really see how small that really is, but I can read that legibly, even though it was that tiny. I mean, mind you guys, the device is already small, but I, I can still read it when it's all the way shrunk down. That's amazing. It's got a nice display. Wow. Right now, I don't have the Wi-Fi turned on, so it won't let me upload them over Wi-Fi, but it will still let me export them if I plug in a USB. If you guys have more questions, give Kerwin an email or give him a ring. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.